haven't been doing too much flying in the month of January, but here it is again, another beautiful day here in central Texas. The wind is moderate out of the south, but it's a beautiful, severe, clear sky. So I'm waiting on my dad to get here to the airport now, and I'm gonna do some instrument approaches from the right seat today. Skyhawk 80991 nine, nine, holding short of 26 intersection Delta, ready for uh, VFR North departure if we can get it. Skyhawk 80991, see Marcus Tower, runway 26 at Delta, clear for takeoff, right turn out northbound approved. Runway 26 at Delta, clear for takeoff, right turn north approved, 80991. Transponder to altitude, car peat, cold mixture is rich, flaps are set, fuel selector is set, trim is set, lights are on. The engine instruments look good. Skyhawk is a pattern, big fan of mystery aviation. Thank you. What do you say? He said Skyhawk in the pattern. I'm a big fan of Mr. Aviation. Mm. All right, we're clear left. Row. Clear right. Hard left. <laughs> yep. You want to set for Zulu, throw to ground, or stay with you? Set out for Zulu, Zulu. All right, uh, gyro is set. Heels down to the floor for power. We'll stay with you to parking, except for easier look. Left crosswind correction in there. Airspeed's alive. Coming up through 50. There's about 65. How many do you need? Three? Yeah. Well, actually, right now I don't need any, but it'll kind of reset the clock. Plus, it helps me to get good practice from the right seat. I'll be able to study your video. Yeah. <clears throat> it helps a lot. Austin Approach, Skyhawk 80991. Skyhawk 80991 Austin. Skyhawk 80991 Cessna 172, just about uh, five miles north of San Marcos, 2,900 climbing. I'd like to see if we could do a practice ILS into Austin and then head back down to San Marcos. Skyhawk 80991, Squawk 0213. 0213 for 80991 and uh, if workload permits for you guys. November 5, Bravo Charlie, climb and maintain 1 2000, turn right hitting 300. I don't want to feel well, obligated if they're slammed. Three, zero, zero, five, sure. November 9901, I'm sorry I missed that last part. I just uh, read back the squawk 0213 and just wanted to let you know if workload permits. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Roger. November 9901, radar contact 7 miles north of uh, San Marcos and uh, Verify you had any information, Oscar at Austin, Austin now, 2985. 2985, we'll get Oscar here in just about 30 seconds. Thanks, sir, and, and uh, verify out to 2,900. Indicating uh, 2,900, 8091. Close. King Air 220, Kilo Hotel, 10,000, assume to be at the lake, right. one with Oscar. Uh, yeah, controls. I got the controls. Oscar at Austin now, 2,985, Oscar is current, runway 17 left. 2,985, we'll expect that, Kilo Hotel. Executives in sight for 550 and cancel IFR. I'm like, control. 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 Traffic between you and executive radar services terminates squawk 1200. Good day. Uh, we'll be on the ground about 15 20 minutes. We're going to be via the airport. Eight minutes information on sir. 2153 Zulu. November 5, Bravo Charlie. 1900 Zero at Niner. Directly. Visibility 10. Zero. November 9 and 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 Absolutely, sir. The RNAV 17 will be fantastic. Roger, sir. Uh, November 9901, maintain VFR at 3000, flighting uh, 010 vectors for the GPS runway 17 approach. And uh, you want to come back around after that? 
Yes, sir, we'll uh, terminate that one with a missed, and we'll do another RNAV into San Marcos, San 010, VFR 3000, 991. November 991, roger, after completion of your option, maintain VFR, fly eastbound, return this far, fly heading 082, and return this frequency. Okay, maintain VFR, fly heading 080, return this frequency, 991. You just touched my hair. You don't put the visor up. Oh. <laughs> in the RNAV, 17 into San Marcos, so I'm going to go Hotel Yankee India, on my binder here, RNAV 17, and procedure, select approach, we've already got Hotel Yankee India selected, and we're going to choose the RNAV 17, and he's giving us vectors, and we're going to go ahead and activate Number the approach. Kilo Hotel, contact approach 125.32, good day. 2532, see you at Kilo Hotel. Alright, we are in GPS mode, we're going to begin. Number 991, turn left heading 280. 280-991. So he's going to vector, since he's vectoring me, we're not going to go to Pukey, he's vectoring me right. inside the final approach, <coughs> or inside the initial approach fix, rather. He'll put you just before the final approach fix. Yeah. He'll try and give me some good spacing, but... Yeah. Um, yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. We'll make our turn to zero 08, sorry, 280. Alright, GPS channel, WAS channel, so we are on GPS. And 171, who's already there. Roll out of the turn, maintain, god damn son. Maintain 3000. Okay, alternate takeoff and alternate minimums, or non-standard rather. Missed approach is climbed to 3100, direct sea lack and hold, we're not going to do that. We have our missed approach instructions. We got the AWOS, we'll switch to AWOS. Get that in a second, we're talking off an approach. We got tower loaded in the standby. Ground control there. We're gonna intercept Yadik as our final approach fix, and then we got Cooksey, and then the runway. Minimums are 960 and one and one eighth mile, which is 365 feet AGL, so 960 and one and one eighth. November 9901, uh, 5 miles from Yadok, turn left, heading 200, maintain the VFR 3000 until established on the final cleared RNAV runway 17 approach. Okay, left to 200, maintain VFR 3000, cleared RNAV 178091. Yeah, I, I wrote the PTAC down, getting, getting used to it. And that's exactly how it should be read back, just real clear, concise, fast, that's all he needed to know. Uh, but you don't need to do the P part. No, don't, you don't need to read that He knows back. your position. He, yeah, he knows the position and we don't really need to acknowledge it. <coughs> Just left at 200, maintain 3000, till established, clear for the one seven. Clear on at 17. Maintain 3000 till established, so I'm going to stay here at 3000. Got a little bit of bumps here. Got the antenna about 1230. And we're going to take her down to 2600. As soon as we get established. And I can verify that we are about 4 miles from the attic. Wind's not bad up here. We're doing 90 knots, 91, 92. Not too bad, I see the needle coming in, so technically we are established. I'm going to start easing that power out on the way out. Car beat's coming out. And start letting her descend. I guess they take into account for that antenna there. Correct. So it's up to you to turn in. Up to me to turn in. I'm cleared for the approach. Yeah, so it's up to me to intercept. They just kind of steer me in the right direction. Right. November 9901, contact San Marcos Tower, 126.82, talk to you in your climb out. 2682, we'll talk to you then, 80991. I'm purposely keeping the track off a little bit there to get that needle centered up. San Marcos Tower, Skyhawk 80, 991, two miles from Yadik on the practice RNAV 17. Notice how I'm not putting that heading bug on my approach course, I'm putting that heading bug where, where it works. With the wind. With the wind, yeah. Putting that heading bug where my nose should be pointed to keep my track. 
I got a little bit of wind out, out of the right side here. Yeah. St. Marcus Tower, Skyhawk 80991 on the practice r 17. Yeah, coming in. Now, Skyhawk 80991, St. Marcus Tower, Port Yaddick inbound. Port Yaddick inbound, 991. That's going to be in about 15 seconds. Half a mile. Yep. 2600 on glide slope. That concurs with my advisory altitude over Yaddick. St. Marcus Tower, 80991, Yaddick inbound. Chicago 991, runway 17, cleared option, wind 22010. Cleared option, 80991, runway 17. Alright, there's a flag flip, that's station passage, or waypoint passage in this case. I'm going to start to ease the power out, we're in the wide arc, 1-1000, 2-1000, 3-1000, that's going to help me descend. What's your decision height? 960. There you go. Well, decision, altitude, yeah. but height is 365, altitude is 960. That makes sense? Yep. On some of the Bonanzas that have flown on the attitude indicator, they've got a light here and a... a it's a, got a radar altimeter, and it pings the ground. You set it to what altitude uh, you want it to go off at, and it knows really? it knows how high you are AGL. And when you get down to 200 or whatever, the light lights up and it, it beeps at you, saying decision height. All right, right on the money on the localizer. About a dot deflection high on the glide slope. I can e afford to ease a little bit of power out. We're doing okay on the speed, about 73. It looks like. Better high than low. That's right. A dot high is better than a dot low. With okay. 22010. Doing good. Coming up on a thousand feet to minimums, right on glide slope, right on localizer. Right on track to adjust the heading back just a tiny bit. There's a thousand feet. Yeah, one thousand to go. Just a little bit left of glide slope and correcting. I'm sorry, left of uh, localizer. Left of course. 900 to go. No traffic in sight. All right. A little bit right of course and correcting. A little bit high of glide slope and correcting. Got to keep that descent rate. Right. 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 Just, uh, if you can, just keep a good eye out on that pattern up there. 800 to go. Got it. Excuse me, number two by Nassessa on a four mile final. I extended downwind right 360 and number two behind Nassessa 900 Hotel. Right, sir, it's either or. You want to extend or you want to do a right 360? We'll just extend 900 Hotel. I'm just extending downwind and put the traffic in sight to follow. That's all we'll call one with you. Alright, we just crossed Cuxi. There was a flag flip. 700 to go. Uh, 8, no. 600 to go. <laughs> Nine hotel, the traffic in sight. Traffic right. looks good. Right, of course, That's correcting. Nine hotel, tell you number 2 behind that traffic, wing 17, clear for the option, wing 220 at Niner. Okay, the option bumpers, 17, number 2, Nine hotel, hotel. Right on glide slope, right on course. Right, of course, a little bit. 500 to go. One dot above glide slope, not bad at all. Maintaining right at, see how well that four to five hundred foot a minute is working? Works well, doesn't it? Makes for a very nice and stabilized approach. 400 to go, a little less than 400. Looking for 960. Let that track slip a little bit. Get a little bumpy. Right of course and correcting. Above glide slope. 140 feet. Yep. 
about 100 feet now. 100 to go. 50 to go. Right on the needles. Minimums. Go and miss. Full power. How'd that look? Looked great. Miss 080, climb to 3100. Uh, just climb VFR. Pause ready to climb. Flaps coming up. Pitch for VY. On the missed approach for 17, and we're going to head back to Austin and ask them if we can do an ILS into Austin Bergstrom International Airport. These flights are doing two things. They allow me to gain practice flying on instruments from the right seat for my CFII check ride, and they also allow my dad, an instrument student, to observe how everything flows together. Performing or observing, student or instructor, we're all learning as much as we can in aviation with every experience, in the hope to better ourselves as people and as pilots. <laughs>